If you're talking about making social justice law, you're talking about breaking rules and pointing out contradiction about what isn't being done and what should be done. Or you might be talking about showing compassion and love and coming together, all these things, spectrum, from the very provocative to the very compassionate. It's a visual language. And it's just a way to communicate. Or you can put this over. Yeah, you want to do that? No. Nah. No. <laughs> <laughs> What you're looking at is the word reparations. Reparations is a, a remix, a reinterpretation of this image that was done in 2007. The style of it was inspired by this book on African alphabets and some of the designs I've seen of where they use animals and I think a few insects and uh, it was very impactful, you know. The figures are uh, abstract figures of human beings in the different contorted positions. They can't move this way, they can't move that way with the chains. The chains symbolize the demand for reparations and slavery here in the United States, red, white, and blue. Being taken as slave and, and just the abuse that went with that. You know, it's more than just uh, money. It's about uh, quality of life issues in relationship to, you could say, from redlining, not even to get bank loans to survive, being locked out the job market, black farmers being denied access to funding, all those kinds of things as a part of reparations. It's not about just the dollars and cents. Reparations is quality of life, land, bread, housing, justice, and peace. Growing up, influenced my politics. I came to San Francisco, 1951. I was about seven or eight years old. They had a curfew for youngsters my age, and we, had to, yeah, we used to have to wear a dog tag with our name and age on them, and if they could catch you, they would arrest you, take you to juvenile. Yeah, you was underage at, after the curfew. Being in and out of the youth detention center, they seen I had a uh, desire to be an artist, so about 64, 65, I went to City College for commercial art. I worked in community graphics, uh, worked in small print shops. They may not have all the high-end equipment that you would have if you went to an advertising agency or something like that. So you learn how to get things done with less and the same quality, you see. And so all that played into when I came into the Black Panther Party and I was asked to work on the newspaper and eventually you become the Minister of Culture. Everything comes out of uh, context and time and conditions and situations that you're dealing with. So the art was a reflection of the community. You know, and hearing those issues and concerns and the pain, the suffering and all that, and you interpret that in your artwork. Life's a journey. In many ways you can say become aware of those things as you become more conscious of the racism and the bigotry and all those things. You know, progress has been made, but this thing still stay the same in many ways. If you're talking about being a social justice artist, all these dynamics need to be into the work. What's keeping me inspired is knowing that there's light at the end of the tunnel. You may have to go through the dark alleyway and the horror chambers, but <laughs> light at the end of the tunnel, yeah. <laughs>